get 20 minutes of free talk time every day by using my referral link to download the app Ace Fluency. And if you want to buy a course, then apply my coupon code SHWETA10 for an additional 10% discount. Oh, hi Shweta, first of all, how are you? I'm pretty well ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, Shweta. So you said that you are a homemaker and I think you also make YouTube videos, I guess. Don't yes, you? Yes. yes yeah, yes. so you are a YouTuber as well, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So what kind of content do you make, Shweta? Related to English content uh, so that I can uh, improve myself as well. Whenever you uh, create uh, content, first you need to learn. You need to know about these things. So, so in this way, I can develop myself and improve myself. So in the starting phase, starting a YouTube channel uh, was a really challenging for me. So just I started with word meaning, sharing word meaning. And now uh, I'm comfortable uh, to face camera. So now I'm uh, posting conversational videos. <laughs> okay, okay. So you like uh, whatever you are learning, you're sharing your journey on YouTube. Right, yes. Shweta? Yes, Okay, ma'am. that's beautiful. I would love to see your content. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, yeah, let's discuss some topic today. Okay? okay. So I'm selecting this topic, parents and children. Is that fine? Okay. Okay. And are you a parent? Yes, yes. Okay. I have two you daughters. can relate. Then you can relate with it. You have two yes. daughters. Yes. Okay, okay. So yeah, Shweta, tell me, who are you closest to your family? Yes, uh, obviously my elder daughter. Your elder daughter. You're closest to your elder daughter. Okay. Yes. And uh, do you get along well with other family member other than the other than your daughter? Yes. Yes. Um, I uh, I have a good relationship with everyone. Like uh, see, ma'am, uh, 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 there is no perfect relationship exist in uh, in this world. But uh, whatever we get, uh, we should be happy with it, and we should. Yeah, in whatever uh, we can do it impressive very nice well, Shweta you are actually right that we should be nobody is perfect as you said that and we should try to be at least you know whatever as humanly as possible for us to be good at it right yeah, yeah. so you are being the perfect example for your daughter that your daughter will learn from you okay my mother she isn't perfect but she always tried to do something good for me isn't it Yes. Yeah. Ma'am. Yeah. Wow. That's great. So, how much time do you spend with your daughter? Actually, my elder daughter is in hostel, so mm-hmm. I talk with her on call. Uh, so, uh, I try to call at least two times, morning and at night. And apart from it, I uh, spend my time with a younger daughter. I teach her Hindi, and uh, and I uh, drop her to the tuition and came back with her. Okay, so you, and you told that you work as a translator also. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. So that's why you teach your daughter like uh, all the language related stuff, I guess, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. Actually, okay. parents need to check out. It, it doesn't matter what subject, but we, uh, we should at least know in all subjects what my kids are doing. We should check mm-hmm. their copies, uh, books, and what uh, teachers uh, advised accordingly. We should uh, told her, my daughter to to do homework on time so these things we should take care of it so we should open her bag her books copies uh, so that we can connect uh, with her yeah yeah uh, we should be update, uh, updated uh, what is going on with her in a school yeah yeah you are actually right most parents i have seen that they don't keep themselves updated with recent uh, trends or with recent activities going on and they are so oblivious they don't understand that if you want to remain connected with your children you should at least know what is going on around the world children should feel comfortable that i can talk to my mother i can talk to my father they understand they are updated themselves so they will not feel that generation gap right yes ma'am yeah so and- uh, yeah you tell me Yes, ma'am. Please continue. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought you were saying something. So, what do you think, Shweta, that have relationships between parents and children changed in recent years? Like, what, what, 
then if it is changed why do you think so it is it has changed yes ma'am it's changed because new generation their uh, internet uh, social media mobile phone make everything easier uh, so there is pros and cons uh, everything has a pros and cons so same uh, same thing now it is kids are doing online sessions uh, so mobile is always with them and in mobile there are lots of good good things is also there and bad things is also there but human nature is to attract with the bad thing or <laughs> to do like gaming they children generally want to play game rather than study content so these things makes children so aggressive sometimes they become so aggressive towards mobile addiction Uh, mm-hmm. so these things makes a way as compared to our generation uh, we don't have these type of facilities so um, we are more connected with our parents um, but uh, in next gender in, uh, in present generation they want uh, to involve much in uh, games or online uh, stuffs mm-hmm. okay so as you said that in previous generation we weren't having that kind of facilities or that kind of entertainment sources but nowadays children are they are mostly using social media or on internet and they have that great exposure of internet right so as a parent what do you think so like how you can become uh, you can make yourself available to children in this generation in this how how as a parent you can fulfill your duties by observing all these things we should take care of uh, present requirement to give them mobile phone and to update themselves not only for online classes we should be uh, make children aware about uh, recent um, uh, gadgets how to do uh, how to uh, run these things uh, because uh, without uh, updating uh, their knowledge it is not good we should be updated every time so uh, as as far as uh, kids is concerned we should uh, give knowledge uh, uh, we should provide all the knowledge regarding present scenario but uh, we should be take care of uh, what time they are spending uh, their time uh, like what type of stuffs they are watching much so we should be take care of it and we should um, deal uh, it with uh, polite in a polite manner <laughs> when they okay. become aggressive uh, we should be deal with in a very polite manner yeah yeah correct so yes yeah, uh yeah shweta i think uh, i want to ask this you as a parent you were also parent and you have two daughters so what do you think if like uh, do you try most parents they have their ambitions they want their dreams to fulfilled through their children they have that kind of mindset so is that right to do to fulfill your ambitions through your children i don't think so ma'am because it's my dream but not my kids dream and what she likes it it's her life it's her life so yes we should advise our kids that this is good for you this is not good for you if you go in this line this is the advantage and disadvantage and if you select this path you get this type of you feel me might face these type of difficulties but um, always decision is yours because it's your life what you want to choose like see my daughter completed 12th uh, from science background but um, after 12th uh, she wanted to do uh, bcom so and but uh, as a parents me and my uh, husband want to do like engineering or doctor <laughs> doctor <laughs> side but my daughter um, didn't want so uh, we uh, we are happily agree what uh, what uh, she has decided for her life so you get so that means you give enough you should give enough freedom to your children to decide for themselves right yes yes ma'am yeah yeah exactly so that kind of parenting is needed right now and i think in previous generation uh were we having that freedom like did you get that freedom from your parents to do whatever you wanted to do yes uh, i got freedom but you know ma'am uh, i don't have that much intellectual uh, broadness or explore to explore myself whatever mm. parents uh, decided for us uh, we, we are happily ready to follow them uh, follow them we don't have own idea own uh, mindset what to do with our life <laughs> we are uh, people like that but in next generation and they are so smart they are so intellectual they can understand each and everything uh, so but i feel that uh, we should leave the uh, decision up to them <laughs> okay 
<laughs> so like you are not a not a parent who monitors each and every activity of your children who are like okay you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you are like you completely give freedom you also give advice as you said and you try to share your experiences with them so that they should they shouldn't fall into some trap right yes ma'am yeah okay there are some parents um, who monitors children a lot like from their young age only they are like we're monitoring each and every activity and sometimes whatever they are doing online also they want to monitor that as well so what do you think so should a parent do that like if your if your parents are into some online activities using a lot of social media and you want to monitor your children so how can you do it and what do you think so yes uh, especially in teenage uh, they don't have enough uh, experience uh, towards life so we should m- must take care of it uh, what um, stuff uh, my kids are um, watching in my family um, i am little bit polite as compared to my husband so whenever <laughs> it needs to uh, t- take care of much then my husband uh, becomes so aggressive and i just uh, keep mom uh, in this situation whatever your dad is saying we should follow you should follow because uh, sometimes kids uh, become out of control they uh, become so aggressive and they uh, want to use at night even uh, because uh, all friends are online so why not i i i should also use uh, yeah, mobile yeah, yeah. because uh, sometimes they make uh, like excuses or uh, this is uh, this is requirement of my study for my study so that time my husband <laughs> take care of it so uh, and i support him <laughs> that's so serious actually my next question was related to that only i was asked like many people believe that women make better parents than men and that is why they have the greater role in raising children in most societies but other claims that men are just as good as women what do you think so it varies uh, person to person ma'am uh, some in some family um, male are very dominating in some family female are leading their um, like family so it depends on person to person what type of personality we are in and what type of uh, situation we are going <laughs> on wow actually you are right but i think uh, like women they are tend to be more softer like they are more soft than uh, men because men are going outside their streets they are seeing the harshness of the world so their consciousness are very much into they they see the world in a very different way so that when they come to house they are like they are, they are not soft anymore so this yes, women ma'am. Yeah women they are like they are more compassionate they are lo- more loving so that's why they understand the situation more better i think so and yes, men ma'am. yeah men i think they are they are watching like they always try, they are outside so all the harshness they are seeing about life so they want to share their experiences to their children but they forget to you know become soft so as a woman i think women men both are like important for parenting right Mm-hmm. so exactly. like so what is your take uh, like uh, if a single mother is raising a child and if a two parents they are raising their child so what could be the difference between their parenting what do you think so who can raise the child well everything has pros and cons ma'am so if a um, single ma- mother raises their uh, kid so uh, there are lots of uh, examples where um, a single mother uh, has done a great job and make their mother kid in a very well uh, um, position uh, last day i watched a tedx talk where a girl is uh, telling about my mother raised as uh, see, as a single mother and uh, uh, she is doing well so um, and in uh, and as far as uh, both parenting sometimes we have a lot of conflict uh, between parents mm-hmm. so in that time uh, kids take advantage of that that <laughs> mother and father are uh, fighting each other with their points so this is disadvantage um, um, i can say but uh, i can say that uh, both are needed uh, as in indian society uh, we should uh, faith have the uh, both are needed for, uh, to lead a good life if possible then it's fine but if uh, and the um, relationship is going very much toxic then it's better to leave alone and lead a good life with uh, your kids wow shweta what a beautiful message you have given i was asking you two questions i was like giving you two options but you were very smartly giving me answer it depends okay it, single mother can be can raise the child well 
and two parents are there two parents they want to raise their children they can also do it so i really liked your answer i asked you so many diplomatic questions but you played well very nice i it's impressive i liked mm. it that's great so yeah that's all for parenting today so maybe in next session i will come up with some other topics okay okay yeah yeah mm. so yeah bye shweta See you soon. Yes, I have also enjoyed a lot, ma'am. <laughs> this is a new topic for me, and first time I express my thoughts regarding this. So I am feeling happy to talk with you. Thank you so much for giving me time, ma'am. Thank you to you as well, Shweta. I really loved your answers. The way you you were not only sounding very mature, you are obviously mature, but the way you are answering your questions, it shows that you have a lot of compassion and love for your children, and you also believe in that love is freedom. So I really like that notion. Maybe people who would watch your video, they will love the way you answered. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. See you soon. Next time. Okay. Bye. Mm-hmm. Take care.